And you're welcome. It's time for the papers. Let's let you guys know what headlines to expect when you pick up a daily this morning. I've got Mr. Mike Mesicano here with me. So, yeah. together, let's delve into the headlines, shall we? Yeah. We're starting from the Daily Trust this morning. Front <sighs> Center for Daily Trust. Headline here, why Nigeria lost 2025 Afcon bid to Morocco. Mike is going to be mm. very interested in this one. Yeah. Economy not hosting uh, our priority mm. um, rep committee chair. We weren't strong contenders, says Lubumba. And event would have been would have brought fortune, says Kofas uh, Sorry, mm. your thoughts? Yeah, they, it's, it's for me. It's um, uh, the, how we, we only have one stadium that is well maintained. One stadium that is standard. That's a world class standard. Yes. Which one? The one in Abuja? Uyo, Abuja. Yeah, Uyo. Abuja. Abuja. That they've they've, uh, they've demolished. They've they've ravaged, and it's God. No, it, Uyo. Mm -hmm. That's the only stadium. Just one. Mm. So think about if we were to host a tournament, and that means that you either start building new stadiums and start one very serious innovation. Why would we do it for a special location when we, at one point, we had eight, nine, ten. We've hosted the Junior World Cup. Mm -hmm. We had stadiums all around. What happened to them? Maintenance culture. Mm. Terrible. You know, now zero. Go, look at Suri mm -hmm. At one time, that was the pride of the nation. Go and look at it. It is... It, it is literally falling it apart. It is indeed. And it, it, this is endemic in the same in the way that it's not just sports, it's, our, it's how we are as in It's our culture, unfortunately. You understand? So uh, we, it was a long time goes coming. Why would you want to go? I mean, but what do you have on ground? Mm. So Very like you said, the, the committee are saying that the economy is, is, is the priority. Hopefully. But the economy could use focus. that kind it, of... It could, it could. Yeah. But I, I mean, look at, look at 1,000 now. The way, the way it's going now, man, let them focus on the economy. Oh. Okay. We won't focus on it. Um, Malou, governors uh, can Abbas preach unity, peaceful coexistence. That's what, this was from yesterday. Thank you very much, everybody, for being peaceful. That's grand. And also, uh, let's see, a vehicle import at tin can drops from 32,000 to 400 in five years. Why would that happen? Why would You should know that better. Happen? Exactly. Will people buy more Nigeria with juice? Because with, I mean, with fuel subsidy removal. Everything. Exactly. So the import duties, uh, the borders were open, and I was thinking that that would make mm -hmm. uh, the cars cheaper because, of course, import duty will, yeah. and tax will drop. But uh, with, the, with the Naira depreciating so much, we don't, we don't I mean, Innocent, there's no the, mm -hmm. how many brands do we have here. Can they produce the capacity? Exactly. Would we patronize them as, uh, you know, to make them, you know, uh, so there's quite a lot there. And I think many people are more will buy more Nigerian used cars so that they would avoid the duties and taxes mm -hmm. that they have to pay with bringing cars in. I don't know what. Well, Mike, let's move on now to okay. the Guardian newspaper. Lax PIA implementation leaves NNPCL, NUPCRC, uh, NMDPRA in disarray, and diesel may trade for 1,500 naira per liter as oil prices spike. Industries, businesses are beginning to fold, they say, because of the inability of um, business owners to actually continue to run their business using diesel. I have um, word of radio stations, which is, <laughs> when that happens, it is dire straits. It is. Radio stations cutting down their on-air time because they cannot power 24 hours because of lack of, the, uh, lack of diesel or inability to purchase diesel. Um, because of the cost. Dude, when, when I mean, from being a kid, remember, can you remember the companies that used to be in the country that are no mm -hmm. longer there? When we pass Ikeja, you pass some places, all you see are, more, are properties that remind you of, oh, this company was yeah, once that, that's, here. A papa is a ghost town of all the companies that we used to be. You understand? I mean, you, 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 some of them, you can see uh, uh, the, the insignia. Maybe it's mm -hmm. washed out or it's yeah. fallen somewhere. Oh, this company was once here. Mm -hmm. Me, the, a, 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 it, is, it is fact that 90 to 95 percent of the reason why they left was power generation. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's just been going up. You, if you want to power a high a factory or something, it, it, it's not fuel, it's mm -hmm. diesel. Yeah. Look at the cost now. 1,500 they are saying. Oh. That's really sad. More papers here. The Nation newspaper. INEC insecurity threatens a November 11 governorship polls. Youth unwilling to work in ad hoc capacity says National Commissioner. At the top of the nation, next said the governor must respect monarchy. There's been plenty of talk about monarchy in government. Um, we had the recent is <laughs> instance of the ex-president and the monarchs, the Euro monarchs. My God, but I don't know, should we take a leave from the UK, the British and all of that? Uh, uh, democracy and monarchy, how can they work together? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't Has know. it worked in their case? Well, it, apparently, it, it would seem that there's, uh, there's, there's discord between the people. Yeah. And monarchy, 
So uh, should, we, should we assimilate? We have three tiers of government. There's a federal, there's a state, and a local. Mm. Should we assimilate the monarchy into some form of a local government as mm. a fourth tier mm. so that we understand that they are responsible for mm. something? For because direct because contact there's always that people. thing. Because, I mean, like you said, the, 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 there are rules. So for instance, the OBA or, uh, you know, if somebody does something in the community, who do you... Mm -hmm. Who is this person responsible to? Is it to the police if it's a crime? Mm -hmm. Or is it to the local, leader. the local leaders and all of that? Is, are they clearly defined? Yeah. Is there a clearly defined structure? So some way, if with the monarchy and all that, we should find a way. Maybe inculcate it, make it a fourth tier of government. Mm -hmm. Find a way and put it where it belongs. Reasonable. So that, Absolutely you know? reasonable. 48 hours rain to pound FCT. Edo, Quara, 22 states, says Nimitz as they alert citizens. 48 hours of rain. Um, are we ready for that? Uh, oh. um, How's so, How's the rule? How's the rule? Oh, uh, it's a terrible state. I'm more What general. is happening? Oh. Like, it, it, at the other time was Ogba and all of that, and people are complaining. There's a particular rule that I don't take. And so when I hear people calling to shows and, and all of that, and they say it's depreciating and all of that, mm. what is happening to our rules? And with the rains, it is not... Mm. Like, you, you literally see one small pothole, and you and go back... two days later... At, my bro, sometimes it's even one day. You come and... You know, this is not a wide rule. Mm -hmm. It goes back to what you said in the start with the stadiums. Maintenance culture, zero in Nigeria. Final newspaper here, the Punch newspaper. Labor Force FG's meeting insists on indefinite strike. Any fresh meeting won't stop us. It is going to be mother of all strikes, they say. Labor uh, union vows. FG says new meeting date will be announced. TUC asks government to account for subsidy removal savings. Uh, it was Mary I had this conversation with here on Monday, and we talked about the uh, relevance of strikes, mm. whether it is actually going to help at all. We're are they, are, are they making any impact in any way? Exactly. If we're trying to heal the economy and strikes are trying to paralyze the economy, it's kind of like a... It is. It is. It's, you know, you're trying to make them understand that, look, hey, hey let's uh, maybe our demands. A lot of the times... They're agitating for demands for promises that were made. That's what they say, and that these promises have not been fulfilled. Mm. Well, the government have shifted you know. ground, have fulfilled a few of their of demands. Their, of their demands. So we're hoping that, um, well, we, well, let's just... They we come can to an agreement. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Mike. All right, Mr. Yeah,